Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 5, Leçon Q. And in this lesson we'll discover together l'expression de la quantité. So it's quite important, so I would like you to take a few minutes to watch carefully this video. And we'll start right now. L'expression de la quantité. So the first thing that we'll discover together, it's plusieurs. So plusieurs means several. Okay. And so the way you will have to construct it is that after that, you will have to add an, un nom, a noun. Okay. But then keep in mind that it should be at the plural form. Okay. So several and then followed by a noun at the plural form. So let's see a few examples now. J'ai invité plusieurs amis. J'ai invité plusieurs amis. Okay, so remember, j'ai invité, so it's the past form uh, of invité, to invite, okay, plusieurs, and then amis, friends. Okay, j'ai invité plusieurs amis. Second example, il y a, il y a, there is, plusieurs enfants, kids, dans le jardin, in the garden. Il y a plusieurs enfants dans le jardin. Ok? And then, elle a fait plusieurs gâteaux. So, faire here at the passé composé form. Plusieurs, faire, sorry, it means to, to do. Ok? Plusieurs gâteaux. Cake. Ok? So, what you can see here is that ami here is with S, so it's the plural form. Ok? Here, right after plusieurs, you've got enfant with S at the plural form. And then here, you've got that gâteau with X. So it's the plural form. All right. So let's see now the second one. Uh, quelque. You don't pronounce the final S here. Quelque means few. Okay. And same thing as we had previously. You will have to add a noun at the plural form. Okay. So let's see the first example. J'ai rencontré. Rencontré is to meet. So it's the past form. J'ai rencontré quelques collègues. Colleague. J'ai rencontré quelques collègues. Okay, second example. Nous avons, so it's avoir, to have, at the present form, quelques petits problèmes, petits, small, problème, problem, avec lui, with him. Nous avons quelques petits problèmes avec lui. Okay, and then the last example. Elle a mangé quelques bonbons. Oh, oh, we get two dots here. I don't know why, but only one is enough. Elle a mangé quelques bonbons. Okay, so manger here is to eat, past form, and then bonbon, candies. So same thing here. If you look carefully, you've got collègue with S, so plural form. Okay, here it's quite interesting because we've got this adjective petit, small, little, But then it's still at the plural form with S and problem at the plural form as well. Okay? And then bonbon here at the plural form with S as well. Okay? So now, other possibility would be ne and then aucun masculine form or aucune feminine form. So no or not any. Okay? And after that you will have to put a name or a noun, sorry, at the singular form. Okay, so ne aucun, ne aucune, plus a noun at the singular form. All right, so let's see the first example. Elle ne veut aucun conseil. Okay, so you can see here that it's elle ne veut, so she doesn't want, okay, uh, vouloir is to want, aucun, so not any, no, and then conseil, It's advice. Okay, so, elle ne veut aucun conseil. Other example, je n'ai eu aucun problème. Okay, so here, est eu, so it's the verb to have at the passé composé form. Okay, je n'ai eu aucun problème. Problème, problem. So, I didn't have any problem. Il ne fait aucune erreur. Il ne fait, faire is to do, and it's the present form, aucune erreur. Erreur is mistake. 
all right so if you look carefully here you get ne and then aucun okay so it's that's the masculine form because conseil is a masculine word here it's quite interesting because as usual in french when we've got this ne and then we've got a vowel after so it can be quite tricky so in most of the cases this e uh, will disappear okay so you take it away but then still aucun is coming here all right and then it's at the masculine form because problem is a masculine word all right and then the last example well you've got the first part ne okay not modified because fair start with f so no problem but then it here you've got this aucune okay aucune so because uh, erreur is a feminine word so you will have to put this aucune all right so let's proceed now un peu or peu and it means a few or few okay so we'll be constructed with la préposition de so you will have to put this de after and then you will have to put the noun without the article okay so if you want to construct this a sentence with a few or few so remember un peu or then peu then don't forget to put this de and the noun without the article okay then if you want to use this autant it means as much same construction you will have to put this de and the name or the noun sorry without the article all right so as much we use this autant de and the noun without the article all right if you want to use moins moins means less same thing here you will have to use de after and the noun without the article all right so remember less in french it's moins de and the noun without the article if you want to use plus more okay in some cases you will have to pronounce it plus okay so you will see that a bit later de and then the noun without the article all right remember more plus or then plus de and the noun without the article if you want to use beaucoup beaucoup means a lot of it look it looks a bit strange huh? beaucoup like that remember you don't pronounce the final p okay and then you get this combination of vowels e a u and you get the sound o so technically it's beaucoup okay so it's not difficult to produce orally beaucoup a lot of okay same construction you will have to put the after and then the noun without the article okay a lot of beaucoup de and the noun without the article if you want to use trop and trop means too many okay then you will have to put the and the noun without the article okay remember too many trop don't pronounce the final p trop de and the noun without the article all right and then assez assez means enough okay assez remember two vowels here a uh, and then e uh, and then double s so it's really strong the s assez assez okay assez so same construction de and the name or the sorry the noun without the article okay so enough assez de and the noun without the article i hope it was clear it is really important okay so don't be afraid to watch the video again and again uh, so if you want to check for the next lesson or previous lessons it's here youtube.com and then the website is here have a great day bye bye